you're in luck. Today, I'm going to show you the proper technique to beat off. That's right. I'm going to show you how to beat the devil out of your paintbrush using the Bob Ross Beater Rack. We're going to go into a full dive and review to see if this piece of equipment is worth your money. So get your mind out of the gutter because here we go. Hey, it's me, it's Wild coming at you to help you with your creative adventures. Need a little bit of inspiration, hand-holding tips, or even reviews like this video right here? Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. All right, now that we got our little bit of naughtiness out of the way, we can talk about the Bob Ross Beater Rack, which is a great little tool to help keep your paintbrushes clean. And keeping your paintbrushes clean have kind of multitude of effects that's gonna help you as a painter. One, it's gonna keep your paintbrushes lasting longer over time, which is awesome for when you spend that hard earned money. Number two is it's really gonna help stop contamination of colors when you clean off your paintbrush. Every time you take your paintbrush and you bring it across, you're wiping off the excess paint that you don't need, that you don't want contaminating another color. Super important, but is the Bob Ross beater rack really worth the money? Well, let's take a look. The Bob Ross beater rack is really nothing more than a wire rack that's vinyl coated, designed to fit inside a waste basket. You can normally find this on Amazon between 10 and 15 USD. To use the beat rack correctly, you essentially only need a few items. Number one is the most important. You need a waste bin that you can drop the rack into. Now, if you're not sure what to shop for online, I'll put a few down in the video description below that you can click through. That'll be perfect. But if you wanna find one at like a big box store or discount store, which you can probably find for cheaper, just being honest, I'm gonna put the dimensions of the rack here on screen so that way you have the proper dimensions to shop when you go to those stores. You're welcome. Number two is something you probably have at your house, which is a tall kitchen bag. To set up your beat rack, all you need to do is drop in that tall kitchen bag into the trash can there, then drop in your beat rack. Now, the reason you want the tall kitchen bag is because it makes cleanup a breeze. When you take your paintbrush full of paint and thinner and you beat it off inside that trash can, you're gonna have thinner go everywhere and you're gonna have paint go everywhere, which means when you just take that kitchen bag and pull it up and wad it into a ball and throw it away, hey, you're done with cleanup, which is awesome. Now, beating off isn't hard. You've probably been doing it for quite some time. Simply take your paintbrush and dip it into some paint thinner that has a screen on the bottom and drag it across to work off the bigger chunks of pigment. Then take your paintbrush, stick it into your trash can, and beat it off back and forth across the beater rack. This will work off all the excess paint. Now I personally like to touch the sides of the trash can to work off the excess thinner that might be hanging off the ends of your bristles. You don't have to do that, that's just something I like to do. But once you pull your paintbrush out, trust me, it is beautifully clean and pretty much air dry. The Bob Ross Beat Rack seems like a simple and dumb piece of equipment, but it's actually a vital part of equipment because it's actually gonna help you paint better. Now, it's not just for cleaning your paintbrushes, but it's also good for knocking off access paint that's already on your paintbrush. Think about how much you struggle with clouds when you have to fluff. That's probably because there's a lot of extra paint on your paintbrush. Taking it inside the trash can and beating it off against the rack is gonna help take off a lot of that excess paint so when you fluff, it's just gonna touch it slightly and give it that little kiss of air going through, which is why this is awesome. Now, can I recommend it for the money? Yeah, I would. Between 10 and 15 bucks, that's a very good deal. However, you can make this for cheaper if you don't have access to it or if you just wanna put a little more effort into making your own. If you're interested in a video just like that, I almost dropped it. Let me know in the comments below and I'll show you how to make your own cleaning system for Bob Ross paintings that you're just gonna love. All right, I wanna give you an awesome bonus tip that I've never really seen anyone ever talk about. When you buy your trash can, you can buy a lid for it so that way it helps enclose the vapors from escaping because you don't wanna be breathing that in because yeah, that's not healthy for you. But sometimes you can't get a trash can with a lid, which is why I recommend using a junk towel that you can just lay on top of the waste bin when you're not using it to stick your paintbrush in there and beat off. This will help stop and prevent the vapors from just floating around in the air hence you breathing them in. Also, please note, yeah, odorless thinners, terpenoid, all those things are bad for you to breathe in. So please be in a well-ventilated room, okay? 
But no joke, just putting a spare junk towel on top of the waste bin is gonna help a lot. You're gonna thank me. I'm actually astonished I didn't have a lot more Freudian slips of saying the word beat off a lot of times in this video, but hey, we had some fun. Now, if there's a product that you would like me to review, whether it be a Bob Ross product or any product that you think would be good for wet on one painting, hey, do me a favor, leave me a comment down below and let me know what that is and I'll see what I can do to review it for you. And when you're down there, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, helps me out. Plus I put all the links down there for you to buy the product. Again, that helps me out, so thank you. I think our next product we're gonna talk about might be the Bob Ross brush cleaner and conditioner. I've got a lot of requests to do this because people don't know what it is or how to use it. So hey, perhaps we'll do that in our next video. Well, that does it for me. Wild coming at you to make sure that you stay strong and creative with your adventures out there. And as always, take care and of course, peace.